Getting bang for your buck means getting the most out of your money. In this clip, we want to get more buck for our bang. By bang, we mean this dead Sony laptop bought four years ago for four thousand dollars. Can you tell us a bit about your evaluation of this computer? First thing, of course, we have to plug in and switch on. Okay, but I think the basic minimum we need on the laptop is for customers to bring in a laptop with your battery and with an adapter. Okay, so this is a complete unit. Of course, customers can choose not to bring in, but the price will be much lower if it's not complete. So this is usually the typical requirement by anyone. Okay. okay so what if, like, it comes with like installation disk and other peripherals? You don't need to bring the rest, lah. Um, okay, those things if you bring in, there will be a slight increase in the price, but probably not a lot. Uh, like the bag, you know, uh, the recovery disk. Okay, it does help in the price, but probably twenty dollars, thirty dollars. If you're an end user, you come in to buy, you probably see, hey, this set has all the things, so the, the, the first user has been taken, taking good care of it. For example, the model here, uh, this is a Veo. If the LCD is cracked, we we'll suggest customers not to repair, because this LCD is very expensive. If you realize this is a super thin LCD. Assuming this is only motherboard issue, uh, we will uh, suggest customers to repair. Okay, because Veo uh, is a pretty, this is a made in Japan one, so it should be have pretty reliable quality. So the other parts are less likely to fail. But some customers might want to sell it off because after all a netbook about this size may be, might be as powerful as this. It's selling for 499 for a new one. So I have my charger and bag. Is that enough? What other conditions should a customer know before selling their equipment? Laptop nowadays, uh, I think the first requirement is it must be minimum from a Pentium 4 onwards. Okay, Pentium 4 onwards are roughly 6 years or 7 years old laptop. Those that are earlier, Pentium 3, actually we do take in, but the price is so low that it's not worth the effort. Probably $10, $20, so we might as well don't bring it down. So what would you suggest people do with those? Just use it as a bed stand or...? Yeah, paperweight or whatever. <laughs> okay. What other things should people be looking out for? Um, okay, the condition. This is one thing that a lot of people are uh, maybe are not aware of. Okay, standard conditions I think many people will know. Okay, so since, for example, when a set comes in, we are not able to switch on. We definitely see, okay, is there any cracks, any dents physically? If there's a LCD is cracked, of course, uh, definitely LCD is spoiled, so the price will be lower. We actually do an evaluation to check out what is probably spoiled. Okay, because sometimes uh, we, we do encounter case like maybe the customers drop it and there's a RAM that's loose so it can't switch on. PC Dreams coded me 250 bucks for this laptop. For the rest of you out there, the three most costly components are LCD, motherboard and battery. If you want to hit up this shop, the best bet is to call them first to find out if your computer is worth the trip. Walking around Simlim, I asked other shops who gave me the same price code between $100 to $300. My personal opinion? always repair first. If all else fails, sell it and buy a new one. After all, you want to save the earth.